This is Jake Becker for Friends University Athletics. I'm here with head cross country coach Brad Peterson to talk about the upcoming season. Coach, what are your ex expectations for both teams heading into the season? Uh, for both of our teams, men and women, we look to contend for a conference championship. I think both teams have the capability of, of doing that. Uh, on the men's side, I believe Southwestern has won uh, 31 conference titles in a row, so we'd like to put a stop to that streak or do everything we can to, to try to put a stop to that. I think we have the, the guys that can do that. We've, we've had an incredible summer of training. Uh, it's the best summer of training I've ever seen our guys put together. So I'm really excited about that. On the women's side, Kansas Wesleyan, who won conference last year, we were second. They actually, I think they're only returning one girl for their team. So I would like to think we're the favorite. Um, I think our, our women should should be a, a dominant team in our conference if all goes according to plan. After an offseason full of recruiting, what kind of production are you looking for from your newcomers? We had a really good recruiting season, especially on the junior college side of things. We we were able to get a number of runners from Cali Community College. Um, had a good relationship with their with their former coach Vince DeGrado, who. Um, sent us some great runners. Um, Cecilia Burley on the women's side came from Cali and also actually transferred from Kansas Wesleyan, but she's one of the top runners in our conference. I think she was third last year at conference. Uh, Caitlin Belisle from Cali was the national champion in the 5,000 and 10,000 meters last year at the, at, the, at the JUCO National Championships. Cassie Kendrick also was on that Cali team and that Cali team won the national championship at cross country on the men and women's side. I, I think Cassie's gonna be a great addition to our team. On the men's side, we have two Cali guys that were a part of their men's championship team. Austin Benton, for one, should have a great impact. And Brock Nooney is another one who should have a great impact. Um, a couple of freshmen I thought had great summers of training are Mitch Heller from Maranatha and uh, Peyton Wade is another one uh, that should help us out a lot this year. How will the schedule and caliber of competition be a challenge, if at all? Our schedule this year, we kind of we upped it a little bit based on the, the talent of our teams. Um, we're going to go to Missouri Southern again, which is a huge field, um, but I think that'll help us a lot early in the season. And then Oklahoma State, we're going to run in the big divisions against you know a lot of the Division One schools, and I think that's going to help both our men and women. And then we're going to go down to to Arkansas and Fayetteville for a first time we've ever set foot on their campus, and um, we'll really find out how good we are when we go there. And uh, we're trying to set things up nationally speaking. Like we like to do well at conference, but I think both of these teams can be forces to be reckoned with on the national scene. And top top four, top five type teams. Um, fall goes well, you never know what can happen with, with both teams. What do you do to keep your runners focused and motivated from practice to each meet? We have a lot of goal setting. And um, just from day to day, there's always a goal, whether it's an easy run or a medium run or a workout. We, um, we have goal setting um, strategies in mind for all of those types of things. So I think that keeps them motivated. Uh, from week to week, we want to get better at a specific workout. Maybe we repeat a workout from, from one week to the next or a couple weeks later. So I'm real big on letting them know this was how big of an improvement you made from this workout three weeks ago to this workout this week. And I think that helps them a lot. And we keep things fun, a lot of enthusiasm out of our practices. Um, we have good senses of humor out there, and um, I think that helps out a lot. Our, we have some really, really good This is probably the best group of kids as people that I've ever had. Uh, great students, but just really good citizens, and they get along really well. We don't have any uh, friction or anything on the team, so um, that, that always helps out a lot, too, is our team chemistry. How much experience and leadership is returning, and who do you expect to lead both teams? We have a lot of, a lot of upperclassmen with a lot of experience. Um, we've kind of, for the men, we've built for this year ever since I came here. We knew that 2011 fall was going to be the year we, we went for a, a big conference championship, but also some bigger things on the national stage. Um, we registered to several of our runners last year, so they would have a fifth year of eligibility. Matt Ditzler was an All-American in 2009. He sat out last year um, to register for this year, and um, he's in the best shape of his life. I've never seen him look this good. Um, Cameron Sprague, as a freshman, was conference runner-up last year. He ran 15 flat in track for the 5K, so he should have another great season. So he's actually the, the number two returner, obviously, in conference. Um, when you, but when you throw in Ditzler and then Dan Nylander also was registered last year, 
he should be another top three or four conference guy and a possible All-American candidate. Um, Tim Patterson is another fifth year that we sat out last year. He had a great track season, and I think Tim is going to he's going to be a difference maker for our team. Michael Gurley has been a great spiritual leader for us and also had a great track season. He was an 800 conference champion, and um, I think he's going to turn into a really good cross-country runner. Tim Westcott, only a sophomore, but he also had a really good track season that I think should carry over to, to uh, cross-country. On the women's side, Jordan Arnold will be our, our top runner. She just missed being All-American a couple of times now she has, but I know her, her goal is to be an All-American now this year, and I think that's going to happen. She had a, just an amazing summer. Chris Accommodator had an outstanding spring track season where she became one of the top 10,000 runners um, in all of NEIA. I think she's a possible All-American candidate, um, especially with these transfers that are coming in to help her and push her. We have a couple of sophomores that had really good summers of training. Rachel Rankin in County Collins. And, uh, and then we have one more senior, Lindsay Dunham, who uh, actually ran a marathon um, at Nationals in, in the spring. So I think that helped her confidence a lot. Thanks, Coach, and good luck as we look forward to watching a great cross-country season in 2011. Thank you.